do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power, clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do, just break the rules, then you see the truth. <laughs> this is the theme of G coming through, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power, power to the beats. Power for the dream, still missing peace, scattering so incomplete. We be that most incredible soldier from underground. See how easy they all go down. Digging through the court to see the light. Let's get out of here, baby. That's the way to survive. Y'all top off the head. I'm on the set. Do the impossible. Don't you wanna bet? Cause a lot of things change. We be waiting in vain. If we wanna get by, no pain, no gain. Wow, Rick is gonna test me again. Sorry, my rhyme's gonna start to bring y'all. I'm still starving for the straight up skill. We gonna make it happen with a crazy rap skill. Get ready to rumble. Now is the time. Uh huh. If you ain't know, now you know. Get back to this. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do. Just break the rules that you see. Second verse dedicates to the real peeps. What we gotta say is so real thing, cause revolution ain't never gonna televise. Kicking a map, whoa, microphone phenotype. Open your third eye, see into the overground. I'm about to teach you where to scream from underground. Whole city covered with a cyber flavor, cheese in your area. When I'm your toughest, you come on. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do. Just break the rules, then you see the truth. <laughs> this is the theme of G coming through, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do. Just break the rules, then you see the truth. This is the beat, she gonna do, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do. Just break the rules, then you see the truth. This is the beat, she gonna do, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Hello. I'm playing Minecraft again. And today I have a very specific task in mind. I'm going to be finding bamboo. I need it for a fair amount of things. Apparently, in order to optimize this monster spawner, uh, I need to be above it a fair ways. So obviously I'm going to have to do get up there. And the easiest way to get above it is with bamboo. If I get some bamboo, I can make an automatic bamboo farm. And can use said bamboo to pretty easily make scaffolding. So, that's that's my task. You can see the mob spawner is working. Uh, but it would be, first of all, nice to have that bamboo. But second, um, I also need to move the farm. I feel like it's too close to the mob spawner. And I don't know how much, like entity limits are going to affect things so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to move the farm down there and i'm going to get rid of this whole layer of dirt up here flatten it all to this level put like a plaza here and then rebuild my house going that direction but the most i think i'm going to do today is find bamboo and after finding bamboo uh moving the farm I also need to make hoppers eventually to catch all these items that are being dropped by all the monsters that are dying. But I don't have nearly enough material to do that. Because hoppers take iron, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Okay, let's see. Hmm... I guess first thing I should do is choose a direction to, to search. 
What's a block that I have a lot of and I'm never going to use for anything? Netherrack. I'm going to leave a netherrack breadcrumb trail behind where I go. So, I guess I just start. Let's start going this direction first. And if I eventually need a boat, I'll get one. Hey, Mr. Crumbs. Yep, Minecraft. I'm playing Minecraft. And today I'm going to try and get some bamboo. So I need to find the, the jungle. I'm going to leave a breadcrumb trail behind where I go. So I don't get lost on the way back. Watch out, little sheep. The breadcrumbs have to be visible from each other. If you if you can't see one at any point, that's when you place another. If I remember, this direction goes past this biome into the desert. Yep, there's the desert. There's another ravine. Can I see that from down here? I can. Ugh, night time's gonna be annoying. But I should have brought a bed with me. That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay. Get the the top of this hill. I have lots of food though, so I should be good as far as food goes. Oh, it's a rabbit. I was like, what the fuck is that sound? I heard something stomping. I gotta get to the other side of this desert. That's why you always farm cows instead of any other animal, because steak just gives you so much health. Ow, you bitch. Hey, fuck you. I was hoping to just walk past and not have to kill you, but fine. Force my hand, I guess. It's your life, not mine. Creeper. Aw, oh, man. Oh, I should have known. I should have known it'd be an ocean this way. Fuck you, baby zombie. No, oh, bitch. Kill each other. Um, I guess we go get a boat. I'm committing. I'd make a boat, but there's no fucking trees in the desert, so... I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going to try to go to. Just gotta go get a fucking boat. And then I'll be good. I really did not make it far. Before needing a boat.
that enough wood? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Make two of them just to be safe. All right. This river probably leads to the ocean then, huh? Potentially. Get a little awake, squid. It does not. I don't like the way sand zombies drone. Normal zombies are like, ugh, these ones are like, <gasps> they're thirsty boys, what can I say? It's not their fault, they're just thirsty. I'd be thirsty too if I was a dead person in the desert. They thirst, as the Irish would say. Haha, uh -huh, they shot each other. Now they're going to slowly kill each other off. Look at all these spiders. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's make a running escape. Alright. Go straight this direction. Deviate as little as possible. Perfect. That did not take long for us to come across land. Hopefully it's not an island. If it is an island, hopefully it's a jungle island. But it doesn't look like it. I might just wait out the night here. Just past halfway through the night. I'm going to get close. Put a marker down and then back away. There we go. Now I know which side to travel home from. It looks like it's not an island. It's a random fucking pumpkin. I guess I can run along the shore a little bit. I probably should have checked along the shore of the mainland first. But I'll check over here. I want to be in a boat for as long as I can. Boats don't consume stamina. So my hunger bar won't go down. Oh, I thought that was a jungle for a second. And I was like, <gasps> I got so excited. That's not a jungle, is it? No, that's just a forest. I got really excited there for a moment. There's a beehive up there, though. I guess we continue. I literally only want to find a jungle for the bamboo. jungle no it's not jungle it's not jungle wood keep seeing that cluster of trees and thinking it's the jungle i wish those trees aren't tall enough and they're not the right kind of wood for it to be the jungle Ooh, a broken nether portal uh i will remember that it's here is this a jungle it looks really compact i think it's just a thick woods Very dense woodland. I will remember to check that nether portal on my way back. If it was jungle, some of the trees would have cocoa plants or cocoa on them and there would be vines and stuff. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm just wrong about that. Which I could be. It's 
Those are big trees. So this is just a big island. Hey, Zach. How goes it? I'm trying to find a, a jungle. I keep seeing this forest over here and thinking it's a, a jungle and getting my hopes up, but it's just a forest. As soon as all the monsters light on fire, I'm checking out that nether portal. Fuck you. Almost light enough for the monsters to stop trying to fucking kill me. Well, I brought this for a reason. I'm glad I did. Can I get this gold? Are you just gonna commit? Oh, that was a little bit of lag there. Creeper. Aw, oh, man. Dead. Alright, where's the treasure? These things always come with, like, some kind of treasure chest. At least they usually do. All the ones I've come across do. I don't trust the lava. Oh, there it is. Look at all this loot. They take the chest, too. Well, there's no jungle here, sadly. And this is a, just an island, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to go back to the mainland and just run along the uh, the coast. Hopefully I'll have an easier time there. This map, or this island itself is super deceiving. Because all the trees are fucking huge. You like the Halloween model? Thank you! Glad you like it. I'm glad people liked it. If I go this way, I'll eventually come across the three netherrack I placed down, right? I should. If I come across the three netherrack, I know which direction home is. Or at least the last checkpoint that I put down so I can start going along the coast. All I need is bamboo. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Please. Oh, there's other island stuff. Does this reconnect to the mainland? I'm gonna go... the left direction, see if it does. Because if it does, that's kinda cool. Over here should be the three nether rack I placed, right? Yep, there it is. Okay. Going this way. Let's see if there's any cool stuff. It seems like it's just more of the same two biomes that surround my home. I guess three biomes. Swamp, desert, and savanna. The only three biomes I ever see. 
And I'm pretty sure that tree up there on that hill over there, yeah, those two trees are from the biome, so. Yep, it does reconnect. Interesting. That means if I were to continue along that direction, I would end up most likely in the same general area. What it'll do is I'll place this here, and I'll just start going this direction. Let's check out what these villagers have to offer. And by check out what these villagers have to offer, I mean steal all their supplies and goodies. And chests. We will pillage the villagers. Hey, Bills. No point in not taking them, right? Absolutely no point in not taking them. I take your guys' bell, too. Why? Because I can. I won't hit any of the villagers, Mr. Iron Golem, I swear. Please don't murder me. I want that. That'll be useful. That's not very useful. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. It's mine now. Let's get rid of the crap that I don't care about. All these gold tools. Oh, that... Actually, that hoe has fortune three. Maybe I do want it. Silk touch golden shovel. That's actually half decent. Nice. Unbreaking doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Iron nuggets are kind of useless. Gold nuggets really don't matter that much. I can put the leather pants on. Throw away the leather boots. Oh, there. Now I've made a little bit of space, at least. And I'll eat the bread next to clear up even more space. A blast furnace? Don't mind if I do. Thank you, sir. If I keep getting loot like this, I'm just going to leave some chests behind. Come back for the items later. Might as well take that. Get the fuck out of my way, you jackass. There you go. He tried to trap me in his house. Did you see that? I should call the cops on him. That's no bueno. Bread. Crafting bench. Oh, <gasps> brewing stand! Nice! Now I don't even need bra blaze rods to make it. Cool. Bread and an emerald. Alright, I guess I continue. Continue my search. Where was my last checkpoint I placed? It's up there, wasn't it? There it is. Alright, going in a straight line. That's a very tall mountain. Holy crap. That looks awesome.
That looks really... Oh, I thought that was a ravine for a second. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. That looks really fucking cool. Look at that. Look how high up that goes. I'm going to build something over here. Eventually. I swear. I'm going to turn this mountain into something in the future. Probably what I'll do... Is once I'm far enough in the game that I can make an automatic, like, farm. Like, fully automatic. I'm going to turn this mountain into it. I'm going to hollow a chunk out of it and just make a whole bunch of automatic farms. And anytime I need something, I'll just come over here and get it. I need to get out of these biomes, though. That mountain's really fucking cool. That is awesome. Breadcrumb trail, breadcrumb trail. Gonna find me a nice little jungle. Eventually. The jungle will be mine. And just like man did before my time, I will claim it as my own. As if I always knew it was there. I might be placing them a little too often, but I don't care. Nice try, you zombie bitch. But I'm gonna place my shit here. Shut up. Get out of my ear. I'm gonna have to kill him in order to sleep, but... There we go. And now, I will place that. So if I die, I'll respawn there. You no, know, while I'm at it, fuck it. Let's take all my goodies that I've saved up. Dump them all in here. I need the boat. And that's about it. Good. I suppose I could make a door. Be semi-professional about this. Alright. Onwards. It's just this Mesa shit everywhere. 
Like, everywhere. It's just desert and mesa. Also, what's that over there? It looks like a building. I gotta take this shit here. And then go check that out. I just got finished putting away all my goodies. And you come and give me more? Okay, not nearly as much. That's not bad. A, a silk touch hoe. Now I have a silk touch hoe. And a silk touch shovel. Nice. I gotta check out this building. It's like a little outpost. I don't really think I've ever seen anything like this before. Just a little well. Huh. Interesting. I noticed there was another village over here. I'm gonna check that out first. And then I might change directions because right now, I'm literally... What the fuck, Sticky Keys? I'm just running through desert and mesa, desert and mesa, desert and mesa, and nothing else. And I feel like if I don't change directions, that's not going to change. I already got a grinder from the last area, right? No, I did not. You lose your job, I get your items. Hello, hello, how's it going? Also, I get your bell. It's mine. Be thankful, the last village I raided before going on this little adventure. Things did not go well for them. Thanks for the books. Thanks for the book stand. This is the part where you say you're welcome. <laughs> Take one of these two. No point not in it. Or no point in not doing it. No goods. A chest. Filled with bread and wheat. I take the bed too. In case I need to sleep again. Little pig pen. I think I've successfully raided this entire village. Relatively small village. Anything good inside here? Diamonds! Armor! Iron! Let's go! Get that garbage out of here. Now keep these pants. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you doing all that work for me and me not having to do any of it. Alright, I'm going north. Actually, I don't know if this is north. I don't know why I called it north. I just feel like it's north. I really do- I really should make a compass, actually. That would make traveling like this much easier. I also probably should have written down the actual, like, coordinates of my house. There's that block. Look, guys, more forest. No jungle, though. Maybe my problem is that I need to go the other direction. The other direction is where all the good biome spawned. That's where I had, like, three swamps in a row. And on top of having three swamps in a row, I had, like, the true ice biome. Just lots of good loot that direction. Hmm. 
And it looks like the mesa just loops around and cuts into here. I'll use up the rest of my uh, netherrack that I have on me. Once I'm done breadcrumbing, I'll... Try a different direction. Unless this is a dead end up here. Looks like it is. In which case, I'm going to explore the coast. With my boats. That's what they're for. That's why I made them. I can go as far as I want this direction and not have to be worried about losing my way because if I just turn around, I'll eventually come across another rack that I can just follow. Bum, bum, bum. That's not forest, is it? I'll leave my boat here as a marker. No, it's 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 just a forest. It's not a jungle. Damn it. Dang. Nothing of note. Another village. There are villages galore in this Minecraft seed, my lord. Two pillager towers. I think this is like my ninth village. I just keep coming across villages. What can I say? I just keep keep finding them. That has nothing to do with anything other than pure luck. Listen, dolphin, I'd feed you if I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. I don't have any fish in my inventory. Maybe you want a steak? No, no steak. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, kelp. I hit kelp. I was like, what did I hit? I thought for a second maybe the dolphin gave me something. I'm like, what the fuck? You ate the steak and you gave me something? Everything's wrong about this situation. But no, everything's right. Nothing of interest. I wonder if I'm going to come across my marker that I left over here. What is this? Whatever it is, it's kind of cool. But ultimately of absolutely no use to me, so. Through the night, I will vote. I just gotta find... Oh, my neck. I just gotta find... A desert. Not a desert, a jungle. Oh, can't get through there. Boats and hoes, my friends. Boats and hoes. <gasps> Did 
there's no way that's the underwater fortress, right? That that has to just be an outpost. No, that looks big. And it's got the monsters around it. I know where the fortress is. Yo! I'm just finding everything in this seed, except for the one thing I want. I'm placing this here, letting everybody know. Yeah, there's the underwater zombies. Hi, heater beast. How goes it? We're playing some Minecraft. I think that's another abandoned, like, portal. I'll loot it on my way back around. It's, this this mesa is going on for absolutely fucking forever. <laughs> this mesa, it like it stretches from here all the way to my house. How far away am I from my house? I have to be thousands, tens of thousands of blocks away. Look, that that's that's insane. The biggest like I guess it just correlates to the Nether. The nether was nothing but that basalt in every direction. I just gotta keep going. A coral reef! Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I'll eventually have- eventually I'll come across a jungle. Is that a jungle? No, it's just a- it's just woods. Yeah, it's, that's just a forest. It's nothing. Damn it. That for a second it was a jungle. It's because there was one really tall tree. I just need bamboo. Nothing else, nothing special, just bamboo. Yeah, that's just, that's just woods. I figured as much. I figured I'd just get a little closer and try and see. Can't blame someone for wanting. Are hoping. Finally. Ooh, a sunken ship. Minecraft Live is coming up soon, I know. I wonder what they're going to do, because they said they're going to talk about the next upcoming update, but they still haven't finished putting in Caves and Cliffs. Like, I'm still waiting on Caves and Cliffs Part 2. So, I have no idea what they're going to, to say is their next thing. However, I am very excited for the mobs that they announced, because they like showed off the three um, mobs that they're going to have us vote for. I want the Copper Golem. I want the Copper Golem so bad. Like, the other two are really cool. Um, the little floating guy that kind of looks like the things the pillagers summon. And the, uh, little slimy goop monster with eyeballs that gets angry when he's in the dark. Those are both cool and have really good applications. The angry guy can tell you where, uh, monsters can spawn, which is super nice for people who are building big stuff and don't know where monsters are showing up from. And... Assuming the little guy works as everyone expects he does, he can he's basically a legal way to dupe diamonds. So like that's like completely buried underground. <laughs> it's like both of them have their uses. And those uses are very nice. However, they're kind of one and done deals where they do one thing and don't really add anything else. The copper golem is a redstone thing. And, and it opens up the possibilities for redstone crazily. And any time that they offer a way to expand on how redstone works, I'm always game for it. 
Because people who do stuff with redstone are absolutely insane. They've got absolutely massive brains and I can only imagine how they would use a mob that automatically pushes buttons for them in redstone contraptions. And, and I can already think of a fair amount of ways that it can be used practically. Because if you think about it, like, um, the whole way that they were saying it, it's like, oh, they can, they get, uh, oxidize over time and then stop moving. You can make, like, redstone contraptions that will only do one thing for so long and then will change. Because, like, think about it this way. You could make... Um, powered rails only activate when you go through it and then after you activate them the copper golem will like oxidize and then will stop pressing the button so anybody who's like following you say you're in a pvp server you can go through an escape tunnel once the iron golem or the copper golems will oxidize and then nobody can use the rails to chase you anymore because the, the golems pressing the buttons are the thing that were powering the tracks. And now the golems can't press the buttons anymore because they oxidized. Things like that. It's, it's like really cool to think about. And that's just my puny brain trying to figure out a way to do it. I'm sure somebody with actual like coding knowledge would be able to do so much more with it than I could. Because those are the people that really come up with the crazy shit with redstone. Are the people who can actually read like C++ and stuff like that. That's why I'm that's why I'm going to be voting for the copper golem. Vote for whatever you want. I'm going to be voting for copper golem. Okay, there's a little outpost here. I could probably figure out a way to farm uh figure out a way to farm harpoons from there. This isn't a jungle. Nope. Just big trees and a forest. Tall trees. That's not jungle over there, is it? Wait, did I just see a vine? No, I didn't. That's just woods. Okay, I thought I saw a vine for a moment. I was like, <gasps> but nope. I just need one bamboo, one singular bamboo. If I can get one bamboo shoot, I can plant it and I can farm more bamboo from it. I can set up an automatic bamboo farmer make shitloads of scaffolding for all my projects it'll be super useful come on little dolphin buddy yay look at him go he's having the time of his life plus i also want the copper golem because i want there to be more uses for copper right now the only two uses for copper are um actually i can only think of one and that's the, uh, what's it called? The telescope. That's it. And I guess I could make a telescope. I have quartz, so I probably should make one. Or not quartz, I have, um, amethyst. Amethyst is what you use, the purple crystal from the geodes underground. But yeah, hopefully they'll announce an actual day that we're going to get... Uh, the second part of the Caves and Cliffs update. Because, good lord, it has been so long. I don't know what's taking them so long to implement it. I want cooler, deeper mines. That's all I want. And I want to fight that super cool new boss. I, I forget what he's called. It's like, they have the biome where it's the... Uh, like green slimy blocks and if you step on the green slimy blocks it'll like click and let him know where you are he's like blind but can hear you because of the reverberations that the things make that monster is going to be cool he's going to be tough as shit because in the showcase that they did where they showed him off 
he absolutely obliterated that dude in fully enchanted, like, netherite armor. Absolutely terrifying. But really cool. More Mesa that direction, so I'm not going that direction. I won't. They can't make me. There's like a spruce forest over there. Because spruce usually grows in the cold biomes. Yeah, I'm I'm over like 5,000 blocks away from home. <laughs> and I will find this jungle. Eventually there will be a jungle. There has to be. I've got so many dolphin friends. Boop, boop, boop. A swamp. I saw the fucking... I saw the vines and I got excited for a moment. Alright, well let's go the wide way around. I wonder if this is where it's going to connect to where I put down the netherite. Uh, there's the mesa again. I don't like the mesa. Another village. I guess I kind of had to go around this direction, huh? I just looped a circle. This is like a lake that connects to the ocean. More desert, more desert and more mesa. Goodness, I've been almost streaming for an hour. Almost an hour. Almost one hour straight streaming. No jungle. I guess most of my stream is going to be finding the jungle then. And I don't care if it is, I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm in, I'm in this until I find a jungle. I will find one. I. I like how that's just kind of become a thing. I. <laughs> Not a pirate or anything, but I. That's what I'll have to do. If I ever collaborate with someone, I'll have to try and convince them to play Mutiny with me. Oh? A village? Another village? That one I haven't raided, I know that much. But how do you know that? Because there's hay bales in front of it. 
If there weren't hay bales in front of it, I could say, yeah, I looted that one. But I saw hay bales. I've taken hay bales from every village I've looted so far. I left them all in the chest by the other village, but... Hey, Queen Soul Fox, how goes it? It's raining in Minecraft. I'm trying to find a jungle. I went on a pretty decently long walk slash run before going on stream, so I'm I'm feeling pretty good. I also got my G fuel. I got I bought the Yuzu slash G fuel. It's the new PewDiePie flavor, the lemon one, made of Yuzu, which is like Japanese lemon. Not bad. I like it. It tastes kind of like a lemon head candy, if you know what I'm talking about. It's got that kind of sweetened lemony-ness to it. I don't know which one I'm going to try next, though. Either I'll try the other PewDiePie flavor, because everybody says that one tastes good, or I'll just try the one that I wanted to try but didn't because the reviews weren't great, which was the uh, Monster Hunter Mega Potion. Because I like... I like... Uh, Monster Hunter a lot, so that, that caught my attention. But... Even though it caught my attention, like, all the reviews were saying, like, it's supposed to taste like mango something, and I don't taste any mango. You're tired and you gotta get up early tomorrow? Well, make sure you get enough rest for it. When I was working, before multiple sclerosis, I had many times where I wouldn't go to bed, and I regretted it every single time. Sure, sometimes I just wasn't able to sleep because I wasn't tired. But every time I regretted it, because I'd get so exhausted at work, I'd, I'd like try and sneak naps while at work. Oh, <gasps> jungle! I found the jungle! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Okay. Let's build a netherrack tower right here. It is on this tower that I will place a bed. Set my reef spawn point in case I die. Now let's go find some bamboo. I also want some cocoa. Alright, I'm going in at an angle here. I guess I can go in more straight. I just need to find bamboo and get out of here. Bamboo! Oh, Bamboo, where are you? They gotta be here somewhere. They gotta be. They gotta be. Melon! Mmm. Melon. I'm not seeing any Bamboo. There it is. Let's go. My ankles. Alright, I'm good. I got everything I came here for. I can go back home. The pandas. I, if I would have seen a panda, I probably would have slapped it into my second boat. Oh my god, I heard a creeper. There's my tower. Get back to it and get the fuck out of here. First thing I'll do is go home, dump off all my items. And then I'll go back to the... Um... Dive in the water. Get the items and then go back to the little second spawn area that I set up. That little netherrack house. Grab my items, bring them back to the house, and then I can get started. Because I want to make an automatic bamboo farm. That's what I want. Hey, 
And now that I'm thinking of that G Fuel, I kind of want some. So I'll probably get myself a bottle of it. As soon as I'm back home. How far away did I have to go? 3000X and 1000Z. So about 4000 blocks away from my house. <laughs> Give or take. Jesus. I fucking... Ugh. It's so far away. <laughs> I guess I can kind of cheat and go straight. At least for a ways. If I get lost, lost go to negative 1,700, negative 1,700. Or 1,700, negative 1,700. Because that's where I last was when I last checked the coordinates. I don't trust this island. Coral reef here. I'm gonna try and hit negative 1,700 neg or 1,700 negative 1,700. If I go at an angle like this, I'll eventually reach it. I just gotta be careful for any underwater ravines. I have a second boat, so I should be fine if I run across one. Man, I found a lot. I also found the uh, underwater fortress. So I know where that is too. I'm pretty sure sponges spawn somewhere. You're gonna get sleep? Can't stay up? Good night, though. It was good seeing you again. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. That's okay. You don't... There is absolutely zero obligation for you to stick around any longer than you than you usually do. I'm just happy that you're interested enough to come in and watch when you do. If your body needs sleep, then sleep. There's an underwater ravine right there. Looks like it doesn't cut in front of me though, so I'm good. I'm almost to negative 1,700. Alright, now I go straight. I guess this is my this is my beach. I just follow the beach until I find another rag. Yep. This is my beach. Follow the beach until I see my nether rack. Hop off at the nether rack and head home. I got my bamboo. I did what I came here for. Aw, oh, poor Enderman's getting killed by the by the rain. I never got to loot that another portal over here. I said I was going to loot it on my way back, but it's still raining and it's dark out. So I don't trust like that. I don't trust like that. Boom, boom. Ba, ba, ba. There's the fortress. Or, yeah, the underwater fortress. I don't know if that's the actual name for it. I know the underground stronghold exists. I recognize that spot. I got stuck right there. Yep, and then this neat spot over here. The 
that will hopefully be a half decent spot for farming harpoons when that time comes around. Once I have my elytra, I'll definitely want to get a harpoon with Riptide 3. If I can get a Riptide 3 harpoon, ho ho ho, baby. You know what that means. I'm going to be flying. I'm going to intentionally not sleep. So that it rains all the time. If you didn't know, in Minecraft, if you don't sleep for too long, it'll start raining. So if you ever are wondering why it's been like 10 Minecraft days of constant rain, it's because you haven't been sleeping. Whoa, Dolphin did a cool jump. Do it again, Dolphin. Do it again. hop off at that netherrack and go back to the village but I'm pretty sure if I just follow the coast I'll come back across um, my other netherrack over here yep I'm, I'm following the netherrack I just don't want to get off the boat while it's well it's nighttime or well, it's raining for that matter, but I can't really change that. Oh, I spoke too soon. I see more netherrack over there. I'm guessing that if I follow this, I'll come across my original netherrack that I placed when I first started searching. No, it looks like I'm cutting into this area. However, if I go this way, I should eventually come across more netherrack. My breadcrumbs should cut directly across. Right? Eventually. If all fails, I'll turn right until I find my netherrack. Temple. Found a desert temple. I'll loot it. I want the loot. Give me the loot. Lots of gunpowder. Sweeping edge, nice. Some string. Some gold, I don't need dirt. More gunpowder. And power, th power three, nice. That's not bad. Golden horse armor. Okay, I guess I'll take these bones. There are a lot of them. And then I also want I guess I can leave behind the blocks there. I want the...
TNT. Alright. Now let's get out of here. I know my it. There's my nether wreck. I was right. Alright. I just followed the nether wreck home. Oh look, the nether wreck house. <laughs> Set my respawn point. Let's take everything important for now. Um, emerald two. I don't need more iron leggings, and I don't need more flint and steels. I do want the loom and the blast furnace. What don't I need? I don't need bread, and I don't need a second boat. I want the loom. I want the blast furnace. There we go. All right, back home we go. We can just kind of leave that stuff there. If I ever end up in the area and need any of that stuff, there it is. An extra boat, just in case. Some bread. For some food. There's that super cool mountain. God, it's so cool. And look how high up it goes. I'm going to industrialize the fuck out of that mountain and nothing can stop me. I'm going to have a super cool, like, automatic elevator that brings you all the way up to the top. And that's where I'm going to launch out with my elytra. And I'm going to have, like, a, a super ridiculously fast railway system. To get myself all the way over there and all the way back to my house and stuff like that. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I know it will be. I'm excited. I just need to get myself in a situation where I can do that. I need to kill enough monsters. Get good enough gear. And obviously figure out a slime chunk. Because once I figure out a slime chunk, then I'll be able to farm slimes and actually get enough slime blocks all right there's the village that i came off of the boat at so if i go over there and hop on this boat i should be good I'd take that hay, but I don't have any space for it. So I won't take that hay. Alright. Now we follow the coast. This is one of my favorite Minecraft songs.
a skeleton died there. Which one is this? It's intro, that's right. I'm pretty sure this one was added in with the nether update. Because I think this song can play in the nether. I just remember walking through the nether after they did the nether update and hearing this. And it just blowing me away. Every time Minecraft gets new music, it just floors me. I'm almost back home. Let's follow the bricks. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks so cool. I should build a bridge down here just to have it. I'm home. Hey, cows. I was about to harvest these and then I realized I don't have the space in the inventory for it. All right, well, I guess now I need to make an automatic bamboo farmer. Let's see, what's a good automatic bamboo farm? Here's a post on Reddit talking about one. Yep, that, that's about as simple as it needs to get. I have observers left over, I think. So I just need a piston, an observer, and then a, a minecart. An observer on a piston facing the bamboo. Single dollop of redstone behind it. Note that you have to use a hopper minecart since regular hoppers won't pick items up through a full block. Also note that you probably want to enclose it since it kind of gets everywhere. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Well, let's get to it. You have hundreds of subscribers yet? I have a couple. <laughs> How's it going, Bones? I'm going to put the iron and gold with the iron and gold. I need to organize this mess. Alright, where is the hopper? I had an extra hopper somewhere. Or not hopper, observer. I swear I had an observer. Left over. Unless I brought it with me into the nether when I died. Oh, no. Dispenser, not observer. Okay, what do I need for Observer? Let's find out. Observer needs Nether Quartz. I'm sure I have some of that left over. I, I got a fair amount of it when I went into the Nether. Yep. I'm gonna make two rows. Three rows of the bamboo farm. Uh, and then I need a piston. 
I'll sleep here, reset my respawn point. So I don't respawn out in the middle of bat shit nowhere. If I do die. Um, how do you make a piston? Piston's really simple too, right? Isn't that just wood? I think it's an iron. I could be wrong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Asked if it was a mistake, but apparently it wasn't. <laughs> cool. Got something to play then. I'm almost out of wood, aren't I? No, I'm not. Do, do, do. I didn't grab enough stone though. I was off by a couple. Alright, I remembered how to do it. Which is good. There's my three pistons. He did what in his cup? It's so funny. Ah. How do you make a hopper? Hopper is made with five iron and one chest. Do I have 15 iron? If I do, I'm good. I do. I have exactly enough. 15 iron. And a chest. I had a whole bunch of chests upstairs, didn't I? I did. I need three chests. Oops! I just broke, like, the only chest that I shouldn't have. Okay. Um. All's good. All is good. I just got a couple wheat seeds. That's all. There I go. I done did it again. Alright. And then the wheat can go in here. Hey, bells. I just needed a couple chests. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fuck everything up. Bye. Alright, we're good. One chest can go there. Three hoppers. Perfect. I just need some mine carts. One of them. Pretty sure it's five iron, right? Yep. Alright. And then I have some tracks in one of these chests. I know I do. There they are. Okay. And then I need a little bit of redstone. Just a couple dust. I need to make more hoppers. Pretty sure. Huh? Oops. Did I lose face tracking? No, I'm good. Okay. I thought I lost face tracking for a second. Sorry, I was double checking it. Uh, and then I need... One more hopper, so I need one, two, three, four, five. The extra chest I grabbed. Now I got my one more hopper. There's one for the minecart, three for underneath it, and then I'm going to need... Wait, why do I need three for underneath it? Oh no, I'm a, I'm a big idiot. Wait a second, what the hell am I doing? I just wasted so much iron. <laughs> okay, um, I only need one for the minecart. 
And I guess I'll take two for the chest underneath. But I kind of want double chests. Uh, I guess there's a simple way to do double chests. Alright. Now, let's figure out where we want to build it. I think I want to build it next to something. Did you know that mosquitoes use your blood to make their eggs and that makes you one-third their father? I did know that. I also know that if you kill one mosquito, like, at the beginning of mosquitoes starting to come out, uh, technically we're stopping billions from happening. And that only female mosquitoes suck blood, male mosquitoes don't. I don't know how true that one is, but that one is something I've been told a lot. Okay. I guess before I go into this, I'm going to place this right here. This is all my stuff that I need for my automatic farmer. Except I haven't made the observers yet, but I'll make the observers right now. One, two, three. I need three observers. Uh... One, two, three, one, two, three. And then I need stone. Rather than doing math in my head, I'll just build it in my inventory. Place that all down. Three observers. Nice. My my second goal. People who are older, you will never in then you will never increase, only decrease. That's true. And at one point, you were the youngest person in the world. No matter how short of a time it was for, you were the youngest person in the world. Built a spyglass. So now I have this, and I can. Whoa, that's kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool. Let's see. Um, I want to move my cows. Which means I need to build a new farm. I'm going to build the farm first and then move the cows after. And I want to build the farm down there. So I'm going to do that. First of all, do I have any coal? If I do, I'm going to... I have two coal there... No coal, no one coal, two coal. I need torches to light the area up down there. Not a lot of coal. But it's all I got, I guess. I'm going to have to go mining for coal soon. I get the feeling. That's a couple. That's not terrible. 20 torches. I need a shovel. Let's go use the one of the diamonds that I got from those villagers. Build a shovel. Alright, Minecraft style. Diggy diggy hole. That'd be kind of cool. Should I build the... Should I build the farm underground? No, I have to put it a decent enough distance away from the mob spawner. That's why I'm moving it over to the other side of the farm.
my pick gonna break? Damn it! He almost stuck it out. It's also getting close to nighttime in game, so I'll probably want to sleep. Let's see. I think I'm good. Oh, I need my pick. That's why I'm here. I have enough diamonds. Let's make another pick, shall we? Another diamond pick. I'll take it. Oh my god, baby zombie. Why are you not on fire, you little freak? Jesus Christ. Why was he not on fire? He lit on fire afterwards. Also, fuck, I put away all this dirt. I needed that. You little freak. He's running at me like that. Can't do that. Eat steak. Good for you. Also, let's see what kind of loot this place has accumulated over the past, past couple of minutes. Ah. Uh, it, it, it accumulated a little. Some string, zombie meat, and gunpowder. Not terrible. Not that good, but not terrible either. Down here is where I want my farm. I'm gonna have my farm come right up to here. There's a creeper in there. There's a couple monsters in there. That's right! I discovered a tunnel that I need to light up. That's why the mobs aren't spawning up there. If I come over here, I'll show you what I mean. Look at this. There's a tunnel over here. And monsters just fill up in it. That's why monsters aren't spawning up on top of there. I have to go light up that entire tunnel in order to make sure that my mine shaft or in order to make sure that monsters spawn up there. Ugh. I'll do that later. Here's what I think I'm gonna do, okay? I'm going to build a half fucking decent spot over here real quickly. So if I were to turn right here, And so that monsters can't spawn on top of it. Half slabs. Because monsters don't spawn on bottom piece half slabs. And then I think on top of this I'm going to have my automatic bamboo farm. I need more.
Okay, everything seems to be pretty well spaced out. I want stone. Give me a chunk. Oh, I already had stone. My bad. Exactly the right amount. Let's fucking go. And then I'm gonna have it be alternating patterns. No, I got a way to make it a little bit cooler, actually. I need more stone to do it. Where's the stone? I want two stacks of it. Unless I have, I do. I do have. Okay. There was one more thing I wanted to grab quick. Uh, where is the glowstone dust? One glowstone. This one. Oops. Not what I wanted. There we go. 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 And I guess I needed a little bit more. A little bit more. And then I should be good. All right. Uh, we got that under control. Put that in there. And let's put our ghost on. Ah, uh, that doesn't really shine light through it, does it? Dang. Keep the place lit up. That's all we gotta do. Now I just need to bring over... ...the shit that I had before. I should also do this. Because this is a smart thing that I never do. Is I usually always keep my hay bales, like, in a chest. There's really no reason to keep a hay bale in a chest. I just need to keep it next to the... To the cows. I could put it in a chest next to the cows, but... Why waste the chance of having a cool looking thing? There we go. Now anytime I need to breed the cows, I just fucking smack it with my fist. Turn it into wheat, breed the cows. That simple. If I don't have wheat on me, one less thing that I have to worry about. One less in-between to do. Which is important. I gotta get rid of as many in-between steps as possible. Now I need fences. However... It's getting kind of dark. 
So I sleep. No. Uh-oh. What is going on with my phone? My phone keeps, like, minimizing eye facial mocap. So weird. Normally, it's a pretty relatively bound thing. Like, I, I don't have to worry about it not working, so... Maybe I got to do like a, a fresh install. Normally whenever I have problems with stuff computer wise, whether it's software or hardware, a fresh update tends to fix it. Oh, villagers. Pillagers, I mean. Death be to you. Killed them. Okay, if Jedi can use the force, why didn't they defeat the Sith by force pushing the off button on their lightsabers? Good question. <laughs> Insights 2020, my friend. <laughs> why don't you just force press the button? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's a good point. That's why it's stupid. <laughs> I have a lot of books, too. I guess I could start setting up an enchanting table. Can't I? Sweet. Let's three pass, one in, three pass, one in. Oops. Now I'm going to take the... First, I'm going to dig this out. Turn left. out of fucking torches again yes i did use a lot of them inside of there but still i'm out of them nonetheless uh let's take the ones off from the top of the spillboard they don't gotta be up here plus i'm gonna be moving the billboard anyways when i lower the whole thing by one let's see And then I also wanted to light up the area a little bit more. So let's do that. Three. Four. I know that's not going to be enough, but it'll be something for now. I don't really have anything else I can do immediately anyways. Um. Right, I got glass. Put that in here, that'll be useful for later. Put that in there. Put that in there. Keep the ominous banner. I'm gonna take the ominous banner along with this ominous banner. 
take those two things. Come back over here. Oh, that's right. Ominous banners don't stack. For some reason, I thought they did. That looks like shit. Alright. Um... Oh, they do stack. Why didn't they stack automatically then? Boom. Dunzo. And I don't have to worry about mob spawning on this because it's bottom half slab. So they literally can't. Hmm. But next, I gotta lure the cows into it. Let's grab a little bit of wheat. Time to test something. Do the cows follow if it's in your offhand? Seems like they do. One got left behind. That's okay. I'll just kill that one. If he wanted life, he would have followed me. That's on him. I have absolutely nothing on my conscience. Done. Now breed. You forget to breed. You don't get to. You get to watch. Got him. Give me that meat. Delicious. Now, I can send one up. Pump the rest of the stuff in here. I got two white carpet. Put down here, give myself spots to come up. Let's destroy this. Or maybe I could turn this spot into my bamboo farm. I see no reason why I couldn't. However, I'm not going to use this building. I'm going to cut down the building. Because I don't need a building for a bamboo farm. the dirt and I'm good 
What the fuck are you doing in my house? Huh? Oh, bitch. Get out of my way and I won't kick your ass. Get in my way and I'll stomp you. I will crush you. Like a bug. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. So I want to use this lightning rod on here. Because I don't want this shit burning up. Or breaking or anything. Lightning rod. There we go. Uh, it's getting dark. Grab all the items that I can get out of over there. And then sleep in the bed. Oh, it's such a satisfying sound. Thanks for the block. Look him in the eye. Fine. You're dead. Stop making sound at me. So noisy. This fucking wombo comboed his ass. <laughs> And ended him. Ended his whole career. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Okay, grab all my items back. Now, let's get some more torches down there. First, I'm going to put some torches here in the meantime. That way monsters don't spawn there. And then, more torches down here so monsters won't spawn down here. Perfect. Perfecto, I might say. Alright. Now, that this place is properly lit up, I can start my bamboo farm. I want the bamboo farm to be right here. Perfect. So... I gotta grab all the stuff for the bit <laughs> before I can fucking make it. Of course, I gotta grab all the shit. What am I even talking about? Um, these wheat seeds can be just dumped wherever. Got my three hoppers, my one minecart, my three pistons, nine rails, five redstone dust, nine bamboo, three dispensers, one glass. I think I need one more hopper, right? No, I don't. I don't need one more hopper. I don't know what I'm talking about okay where did i put those two chests did i not grab two more chests let me grab two more chests down i go Torches. Because why the fuck not? Right? Why the fuck not? Now, the whole point of it is that it's going to be going back and forth here. No, it's going to be going back and forth one higher. I need to grab actual wood for everything that isn't a slab.
There's all the wood. Now we're good. So it's gotta be one higher. Why'd I go down here? It's up here. I always like putting minecart stuff on top of this. I always like putting minecart stuff on top of uh, wood. Because if it's on wood, the thing is, they can't really fuck up. I can't... If I'm using a really good pickaxe to break the... Uh, the rails the pickaxe breaks the rails really fast but it won't break the wood fast so if i hold it for a little too long it won't just shatter my floor and tear it apart now i need to place a hopper Am I doing this right? How do I get it to point at what I want it to point at? How do I get it to latch? I'm not sure. Let's let's find out. Uh, hopper can be used in a container as a crafting ingredient as a redstone component. Hopper has an output tube at the bottom. It can face down or sideways and provides a visual indication of which block the hopper is set to drop. Block and then to place a hopper, use the place block control while aiming at the surface. Which its output should face. I see. So I gotta click there. There we go. Now that should be exactly as the design demands it to be. Now, let's first set up the dirt. That dirt is where the bamboo is going to grow. I should also set up a staircase of some sort, so I can get up there a little bit easier. No maintenance spot. So if I were to plant three bamboo right there, my next goal... Ow. Is to set this up. That's three of them. Now, the observer needs to face... I see. Okay. Observer, observer, observer. Ah, I needed to go one higher, I think. 
Yep, I need to go one higher. However, this is the right spot for my pistons. So, replace my pistons. Servers exactly as intended. And now I just need one block behind each of these. Run one redstone. And that's it. Now I just need to set up something to have the cart go back and forth, and that's that's all that there is to it. can't help but feel like this would probably do better up there, being higher up. Still half block. That's still half block. It still will keep mobs from spawning on it. There we go. Now at least this little spot's lit up, so it's less that I have to worry about. I just need to set up a redstone clock to make that guy go back and forth and collect all of the uh, bamboo. I want to see it work in real time before I call it a mission success. Part of me is a little bit worried it's going to break the glass. I don't think it will, but it might. So as much fun as watching paint dry is, it's, it's worth it. It is definitely worth it. Definitely. Let's see it work. Let's see this bad boy work in action. I'm zoning out so hard trying to pay attention to this. Jesus Christ. It worked! 
Only thing is, the hopper isn't in the right position to catch it. Cool. Oh, no, it did work. It caught one of them. And it sent it down right into the... Oh my god, it worked! Cool! Okay. Well, in that case... All I gotta do now is make a redstone clock. If I make a redstone clock that makes the cart go back and forth, I have an automatic bamboo farm. Right? That's all it takes. So... Wait, how do you make the... It takes gold, doesn't it? To make powered rails? It does. Six gold, one stick, and one redstone dust. It's a good thing I got gold. I need two sticks, because I only need to make two of them. I only needed to make one, apparently. That's right, I forgot it builds them in sixes. Now. What's the most compact? Redstone clock I can make. I know. I know exactly what the most compact redstone clock I can make is. Now before I make it. Let's make sure it works. This is really, like, brainlessly simple. But it doesn't really need to be much more than brainlessly simple. Honestly. Yep. Brainlessly simple. I don't need anything more than that. I'm sure that'll work. I could make something big and fancy, but no point. Oh, they both got sucked into there. Nice. It, it's so weird. Like, I'm placing the items and they're just disappearing. And I'm like, where the hell did they go? And then I realize, oh, that, that's where the hell they went. <laughs> Alright, now, make sure I do this right. There's Peter goes that way. There's your Peter goes that way. Didn't mean for it to go there. Please don't get sucked up by the hopper. Thank you. Um, this one goes that way. Ever. There we go. Now let's go make sure that it works with the cart. Oh, 
Oh, it's not connecting to the rails. No. Okay. That's okay. I'm sh I'm pretty sure I know a way to fix that. I just gotta move it all back one. That the redstone is directional. Alright, one way, the other way. Yeah, now it's connected. Nice, perfect. Directional inputs in redstone. Very important. If your redstone machine doesn't work on first try, even though you know it should, it might be the direction that you have something facing. I did not mean to go in there. I gotta combine them, that's right. I tried to place a hopper in it, that's not how that works. Okay. It's moving and that's all I care about. As long as it occasionally goes over the hopper to put the items in it, perfectly okay with it. We'll double check back in on it shortly. For now, I'd call that a success. Also, that sound we're hearing, the zombie, that's coming from the tunnels that are, like, right over there. So I'm gonna have to go light that up next. But for now, I got a bamboo farm. I want to see it work. I know the pistons work, but I want to see the hopper pick it up. Pick them all up. And in the chest they went. Nice! Automatic bamboo farm finished. I'll eventually make it bigger. Because it stacks infinitely. What I'll probably do. Is I'll probably make it go another three wide. There. And then maybe even like. Build a second set facing that direction. And have this go through like a. Loop de loop in order to put it in the chest. And then I can just access the chest from right there. I think that's what I'll do. The same design also works with sugarcane, but... Really, I'm pretty sure I have more sugarcane now than I'm ever going to need. Growing more seems kind of wasteful. There's no reason to dedicate that much space to it. I also need to build a bunch of hoppers for that. That way I can automatically stack up items there. Hmm. I guess I could get started on the next parts now that I have some bamboo around. And I don't need to build more hoppers in order to build the next parts either. So, one, two, three. This is for the... Piston. Two, three. And then one, two, three, four, six. Where's the nether quartz at? There it is. One, two, three. And then three, 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 three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two, three. Two, three. Alright, let's build them. Three. 
Okay, observers. Okay, pistons. What I need is I need more glass. Fifteen in there, fifteen in there. That should be more than enough glass. So for now, take a couple more logs. Turn those logs into planks. Let's go get this situated. So that it'll be ready to go for as soon as I have everything ready. Mine around that. Cool, I can make that jump. Nice. But next, I need... First, some stone. Second... Some more half slabs. Should have just brought my half slabs and my redstone with me. I, I knew I was going to need it. But oh well, I guess. It is what it is. Live and learn. Uh, I also need the minecarts. God, I'm 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 really losing it here. Did I even grab dirt? I didn't even grab dirt. Rails and three pieces of dirt. I'm fucking up a very simple situation here. escape hole. Alright. Now, to properly set this up, need this. One. There we go. And then I need the three pieces of dirt. Three. I can combine the minecart with the hopper. Now it runs much smoother. I, I will say that much. That is much smoother. Ah! Get the shit out of me! <laughs> bunch more. Now I need the glass. Where's the glass? Alright, with that I think that's good. I can break this. I don't know why I broke that. I'm going to need to go up there again very shortly. Because the glass should almost be done. Got my stake. My glass is done. Let's go. Hopefully 30 pieces of glass was enough. I hope. Fingers crossed. Ah. 
Ow, I missed. Whoops, wrong thing. Fixed. There we go. Little automatic farm. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, well, I completed that task that I had for today. That can go right there, just to make sure no mobs spawn. Or better yet. Should probably go on top of there, because those are no longer half slabs. Sweet. Now that I have a fully automatic bamboo farm, I should hopefully getting hopefully be getting decent chunks of bamboo. Little to no effort. I just want to make the space as enclosed as possible because the more enclosed the space is the less likely mobs are going to spawn in it pick it up and it's in there awesome let's go worked perfectly actually now it's too short for endermen to stand in there if it, if it starts raining now Enderman won't teleport under it. Okay. That's a good amount of progress made, actually. I moved the cows like I wanted. However, the progress that is going to be made is not over yet. I'm going to hang around the general area while it farms up bamboo, because eventually I want to build a scaffolding 90 blocks above the top of that. Because according to the original person who made that exact... Uh, mob spawner that's how far up you gotta go in order for it to work the way that he intends it so and that's one of the reasons why i moved the cows i have a feeling spawn area is important and perhaps if i go that high up um perhaps if i go that high up uh the monsters won't spawn underground anymore I wonder if that guy was part of the original pillager group that attacked, or if I'm being attacked by another group of pillagers. And that guy was just a straggler. Either way, it doesn't affect me none. I consider this a success. I would get started on tearing this whole place apart, but I don't think I want to do that yet. Because I'm going to take this whole building down, remove this top layer so that it's equal to this layer, and then uh, build the house bigger and longer going that direction. See, they love the hay bales. Told you it was a good idea. Speaking of which, they can probably breed again. And I want more cows. I'm running low on meat. I need more. 
More meat. There you go. They all they all made sweet love. Now there's a bunch of babies. Victory is mine. I do eventually need iron. So I am going to have to return to the mine shaft soon. I do understand that much. This will be nice once this top layer is gone. How much bamboo are we at now? 19? 27. Now, how do you make scaffolding? I've never made it in-game. Never had a reason to. So, it's six bamboo and one string. Okay. I'm sure I could actually make a couple of those. I have a fair amount of string, don't I? Yeah, I do. Alright. That's 24. <clears throat> I need 90. So that's what? 15 in total since it makes 6 each. That shouldn't be too hard to do. So about 90 scaffolding total is what I need. Uh, that I have 24, it's 66. I need 66. Hey, Stingmaru, what's up? I've been playing Minecraft. I built an automatic uh, bamboo farm. Moved my cows to a much bigger area. And found a jungle biome, so it actually already has the stuff in it, which is nice. I'm glad I was able to find one. And I almost, I, I just gotta wait for the farm to make enough bamboo for me to put 90 scaffolding blocks up at the top of that, and then I'll be good. It's not, it's not making too much, but... I'm going to grab four wood. Long live farts. I'm going to put a crafting bench here. My favorite Minecraft song. Yeah, I eventually will have an automatic cow killer. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> they exist. It probably won't be a cow killer though. It'll probably be, probably be chickens. Because there's a, there's a pretty easy way to make an automatic chicken killing machine. You literally just uh, have a dispenser set up with a hopper attached to it. And then cram a whole bunch of chickens in like a very small space. And then have a minecart just circling underneath them. So anytime they lay an egg, it'll just grab the egg, drop it off in the dispenser. The dispenser will throw it. And then there's the percent chance that an, a chicken will come out of it. And if the chicken does come out of it, um, kill it. And that's all you have to do. You don't even have to kill it yourself. You can set up like a... Like a molten block that'll burn it to death. And as long as it burns to death, the chicken will also be cooked, so. It's a double win-win. 
I'm just pa patiently waiting as fast as I can for this to fill up with more bamboo. So that I can keep doing more. I guess I can farm. Harvest all this while I wait. It's on my nose. There we go. I just saw a monster fall. Oh, a creeper and a skeleton going in the mob grinder. Well, I really like the design of this mob grinder. Sadly, it's not an experience grinder. It's an item grinder. And while items are still nice, I do need to eventually build an experience experience like an actual experience grinder so I'm, I'm gonna have to make another one but not yet I want to watch it go off it'll be cool also the way it's wired all the pistons go off if one of them detects change So if that one on the left were to grow again, all the pistons would go kshunk out. And it only goes out for one tick, because I think that's how long of a uh, signal observers give off. Unless I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure, anyways. Do it, it'll be cool. It'll be cool, I swear. Oh. That one middle bamboo still hasn't started growing. A little upset by that. It's being picky. What, is my way of life not good enough for it? I guess you guys will hear it go off. The music stopped. That's why it's sounded so quiet. <laughs> I smell new prey. No, you don't understand. If I made a machine that automatically killed cows, PETA would hire me. It's if I made a, if I made a machine to um, mistreat cows, then um, Peta would take my cows away and kill them for me. That's the difference.
I fell. I forgot there's a ledge there. I thought I was gonna hit like a pumpkin or something. It's the angle. If I walk backwards and do it, it doesn't misplace any of them. No, no, they have one question that can still catch me. What question would that be? How would PETA possibly defeat me? Like Jack the Ripper, they'll never catch me. Oh, the one sprouted up. Oh, did I get more? Oh, it went off and I wasn't even looking. Dang. Oh. Well. How humanely did I kill those cows? Define humanely. Did I feel anything? No. Did they feel anything? Probably. But what are they gonna do? Take it away? They're already dead and cooked and in my belly. I win. They can't take the dead cow away from me. The deed has been done. Victory is mine. Peta trembles before my strength. They're they're listening in on the stream. They're like, oh god, he knows too much. They were starting to write a report like, ho ho, he doesn't know the ins and outs. He doesn't know the nuances. And then they watched me talk about this on stream. They're like, oh god, quick, burn everything. Burn all the documents, all the folders. Get them out of here. Forget everything except for fine dining and breathing. I could make the cows breed quickly, I suppose, and then kill the parents. There's no way there's more than 35 cows down there. I am the cow now. Ow now, brown cow. Make beautiful babies. And then I'm gonna kill all of your children. He died horny. There weren't enough cows for him. Meat. Antonio. GG's my guy. Great stream. I've got to check out though. Catch you later. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. I'm actually going to be ending the stream pretty quickly. But. Thanks for dropping by. And I hope to see you around again. It's always nice seeing new people. I got 18 raw beef. That should be enough meat to last me until I can breed these younger cows. And I'm just going to throw this stuff in here. Fuck it. Keep the bamboo in the string, though, because I got to make scaffolding. That is still top priority. Speaking of which, ooh, I'm going to get lots of bamboo from this next punch. Do it. One of them grow. That'll be a solid six bamboo. Yeah, that looks so cool. Boom, baby. All right. Forty-two. I'm getting there. I'm halfway to having enough. Let's see what goodies are here. It seems like monsters haven't been spawning. Which is a semi-good thing. A witch spawned. 
Oh, you poisoned yourself, dumbass. Give me the sugar. I got the sugar. I think I'm going to end the stream standing up on top of the scaffolding I'm making. I'm going to make a scaffolding tower going straight up. And then as soon as I get up the 90 blocks and I'm sitting where I need to be, I'll probably end the stream there. Leave the game running for a little bit so I'm able to uh, make sure it actually works. And then that'll probably be the end of the stream, so. We're reaching the end of it. Oh, I love Minecraft. I'm getting so much stuff done. It's really quite nice. What? I didn't take damage the last time I jumped down that little ledge on the stuff. You've been lurking since I started streaming? During the GG Strive days? Nice! Nice to see consistency. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, I've got meat now, so I'm actually able to eat. I've been wanting to play more Guilty Gear Strive. I think it's just consistency. Yeah, I know what you meant. I've been wanting to play Guilty Gear Strive. I think it's just... Like, it's not that it's a... The game's amazing. I have absolutely nothing wrong with the game at all. Um, however... I feel like making content wise it's a lot easier to make interesting content when there's new things like i'll 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 play it every once in a while on my own time but like making videos and stuff uh, if you're not a god which i'm not at the game and you aren't just constantly doing crazy cool plays your streams just kind of turn into learning new character streams where you just repeatedly read the read the notes and stuff like that and Learning new characters isn't really interesting when the characters aren't new. So, it's, it's just a matter of me wanting to stream it, but only wanting to stream it in situations where I actually have some interesting stuff to do, input, or play. So, obviously, coming up soon, they're going to be releasing another person. Uh, because they said they were going to be releasing, I think, one more. Actually, no. Are they? Or are they not releasing another character until the end of... Let me search it up. What's the schedule? So we already knew... So the remaining three characters, including the first season, will appear in Fall 2021 and later. So yeah, we are having one new character coming this year still. It's just going to be later. It's probably going to be November. I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being November. And then the other two characters for Season 1 are coming next year. I still have uh, Arc Systems Twitter sent to give me notifications. So in the... I just saw something like streak over there. In the event that a new trailer shows up, I will be very quickly notified of it. Daddy? Sorry, daddy? Sorry, daddy. <laughs> Can I get a vanilla latte with uh, extra daddy milk? Sorry, daddy milk? Sorry, daddy milk? Sorry, daddy milk? Sorry. You figure it out. <laughs> What's up, Kelsey? I've got my shit being made. I made an automatic bamboo farm over here because I got to make scaffolding in order to make that mob grinder 100% consistent. Uh, I moved my farm down here. I don't have a lot of cows in it because I just kind of butchered all of them. Uh, but in order for this to work at its maximum efficiency, apparently... You need to be exactly 90 blocks above the roof of it up there. So eventually I will do that, but for now I will not. I also want to make like edges coming down, corners.
Because if corners come down, it'll look less like a floaty thing and more like a complete thing. I'm glad I was able to find a jungle, though. I knew if I just kept going down, or kept going down the uh, coast, I would eventually find it. I knew I would eventually get it. It was just a matter of waiting. Good. That's now enough. 60. So I just need 30 more bamboo. Which will take a couple a couple of those things worth. I guess I could start clearing off some space, I suppose. Because I am going to be getting rid of this whole layer up here. While I wait for the bamboo to grow, it won't hurt to get started. Because I'm probably going to clear this whole layer off, off stream. Because it's going to be very tedious and time consuming. And it probably won't be that interesting to watch, so... Boom, baby. Cleared out a little bit of it. That's going to be the level of everything, though. Like, I have a feeling having it be the same level. Consistency on... Yeah, that looks... So, that feels so much nicer to come up to. Than having just a wall on your right. It just feels nicer. In general. Any more bamboo? Yeah, there is. I watched a clip where someone took drawings of Bowser and uh, Donkey Kong. And they took the scenes of Kung Fu Panda with Seth Rogen and Jack Black. Where, like, I think Seth Rogen played Monkey. I'm pretty sure he played Monkey. And then, obviously, Jack Black was... Poe, but um they took some interactive scenes between them and like animated the drawings of Bowser and Donkey Kong and it painfully worked which makes me really scared about how good the the Mario movie might actually end up being <laughs> although seeing Donkey Kong with a Seth Rogen laugh is always off-putting how's it going how's it going Boba I'm waiting for my automatic, for my automatic thing to work. Nice. God, that's so clean. It works so well. I'm going to double it up though. I won't do it now. But I will eventually double it up. <laughs> I'm, what I'm going to have it be is I'm just going to have it be this, but flipped around and facing the other direction. So it'll kind of squish inwards. 
That way it'll be, instead of being like two wide with glass in front, it'll be four wide. Two of them facing the same direction. And then I'll get rid of this clock. And instead just have a powered rail constantly on each side, one there and one there, and it'll just loop the minecart in circles. Well, boba milk tea is good. There's a uh, sushi place in town where I live, and they recently uh, started selling boba. And it, it hasn't been bad. It's just the boba is always cooked wrong. Like it's either undercooked so the inside is really hard, or overcooked so it's like crunchy. Other than that, it's fine, and the, the actual tea itself tastes amazing. The milk tea that they have tastes absolutely fantastic. However, like, uncooked boba is uncooked, no matter how you think about it. And it was like, eh, it's not, it's not bad, it's just not that great. If it was cooked correctly, I'm sure it'd be absolutely fucking fantastic. Correctly cooked boba milk tea is delicious. Boba, it's the little uh, tapioca pearls that they they boil, and then after they boil it, it uh it gets put in cold water. I think I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. They put it in like cold water, and then they put honey and sugar and stuff on it. I. Hello. Jiri or Jire? How do you pronounce that? Is the E enunciated or not? Talking. Uh, you talking about your butt, Boba? Talking out your butt about Boba? You talking. Oh, oh, sorry. I did not read that correctly at first. <laughs> no, I've, we've made Boba before. I just don't remember how it was made. It's been a long time, okay? I haven't made boba in a long time. All I remember is you boil it. That's literally all I remember. Boba is the bubbles that they use in boba tea. I'm sure you've seen or heard of it at some point. If you're as cultured as I am, you will remember the bubble tea challenge. Where women would try to hold cups of bubble tea with their boobies. It was quite the cultured challenge, I might say. A few very cultured people really did trick the entire internet into showing off their boobs. And nobody can say otherwise. The entire internet was all about showing off their boobies for a little bit there. I need to make scaffolding two more times. Then I'll have 90 scaffolding and I'll be good. The boba hold the boba. It's true, it's true, it does! It does, it does hold the booba. Or the boba. The booba hold the boba. Sorry, I get monkey brained when I think about the boopa. Boil the water, let it float to the top, and let it boil more. Then you put it in cold water for a bit, and then you pull it out of the cold water, and then I said, That's what I said! I was right. I did remember it correctly.
My brain is not small. You gotta believe me, please. You gotta believe me. My brain big, big brain. Brain huge. I'm glad I have this whole area lit up and I haven't had to deal with any creepers walking into my shit. I just need two more. I just need two more bamboo. I'm half tempted to go in there and get it myself. And once I get it, I'll be good. I'll be good to go. I'll be gaming. I'll be set up. Also, there's pointed dripstone. I forgot which one it is, but there's a farm you can do with dripstone. An automatic farm. I don't remember what it is, though. I'm trying to think. I really can't remember. Let's see. What was I grabbing? I just had a huge brain fart. Like for a whole chunk of time there. I had, wasn't thinking anything. I was just blank brained. My god that was awful. I hate losing my train of thought. I needed bamboo. So why did I come into the house? I slept. So why was I digging through the chest? What was I grabbing? What did me five minutes ago deem so important that I had to dig through a chest for it. I'm sure it was nothing. I'm sure it was nothing. Nobody's ever forgotten something important, ever. Yeah, there it is. Alright. We're good. No, we're not good. Oh, I didn't make all the bamboo I can. I'm fucking stupid. We are good. I'm just stupid. Never mind. No. I am still off. I need one more. No, I'm stupid again. <laughs> I just need six, five more bamboo and I'm good. I guess I could feed some cows, huh? That's why I put the hay bales here so I don't have to run all the way back to the house every time I need to Breed the cows. I just heard it go off. Hopefully that was five. I like how loud it is too. Because it just announces that it's there. Ah, oh, one off. One off, fuck you. Jackass. No. So close so far do I have any more deep slate anywhere I don't think I do no but I got a shitload of basalt I guess I could make the towers out of basalt does have like a grain to it which is kind of cool
Alright, this is still working just fine. Which is good. One corner set up. I don't think I can get down though. I, I'll die if I try to jump down. Right? I might survive that drop. Maybe. I should have brought Ender Pearl. I have one. Okay, I'm gonna drop down and die. And that will be where I need to put a pool. Now I know exactly where I need to have water. So let's throw back on our armor. Grab all my gear. I died for science. I need no better reason to give my life. Except for the fact that I lost something. There they are. There's one of them. Where did my shovel go? There we go. We're good. We're done. We figured it all out. Okay. Alright, there needs to be water. Fuck. That's... A terrible place to have to have water. Oh well. You got more bamboo for me? Yeah, you do. Alright. There we go. That's all, folks. Now let's go up there. Kick some butt. I'm going to leave all that in there. Let that continue doing its thing. And then build another corner to the roof. I'm gonna leave that right there. It lets me line up this. What is butternut squash called? What is it if it has no relation to neither butter nor nut, my guy? I don't know. And you said, why is butternut squash called that? Not what is butternut squash called. Should have known it would be right on here. It won't be. It would be right here, though. No, it will be. That's cleared out. All right. Now let's go up all 90 blocks. There's 90. Wait, if that makes 6, I did have enough. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I have a I had a stack of 64, not 60. Ah, I had 26 in my inventory. Ah, damn it. That's my bad. That's my bad. I could have been done already. Okay. Now, Let's set up some scaffolding. Right here. Best part about scaffolding is you can place it on the bottom and it'll auto place at the top. There we go, that goes 90 up. Do 
to Valhalla. I built a ladder to heaven. Look at my cool ass house down there. My automatic farm. There's my netherite from when I started the stream and started leaving a netherite breadcrumb trail. The house I'm soon going to destroy to build a different house. Here we are. Yay! I did it! Look, I'm an, I'm an even more authentic Minecraft YouTuber. I, I'm going into third person. Minecraft YouTubers all this time. Do this all the time. Hello, everybody! I'm going to talk in a very cringe way and, and flail my Minecraft character around in third person. Today, I'm going to be doing a mediocre task, and I'm going to pretend like it's crazy because children have yet to do it. I'm, I'm officially a Minecraft YouTuber. Let's go! Let's go! What? That's, that's all I had planned for the stream. <laughs> really? Uh, my to-do list was find uh, bamboo, set up a... Uh, farm for it which i did and then build a 90 scaffold block high tower above my grinder so that it works quote unquote optimally i also had on my to-do list that i wanted to move the farm which i did and i built the um automatic bamboo farmer on top of it and then i also had on my to-do list to lower down the platform by one block that my house is on and demolish my house and build a new one however that's a little bit out of my out of my ability it took me the whole stream whole three hour stream to set up one automatic farm and move my cows <laughs> i'm happy with how it turned out i am i'm happy oh uh oh my uh my facial mocap is lagging really bad let me reset it okay uh there we go. Now it's actually working right. Sorry. My my phone has been really fucky today. I'm going to turn it off. Like, fully power it off. And, like, do a software update. See if there's anything that needs to change about it. But, like I said, that's all I had planned for the stream. So, thank you, everybody, who stopped by. It was a really fun stream. A lot of people showed up. Sting Mara was in. Bone Daddy was in for a while. Uh, I'm assuming I pronounce his name Jire. Because he never corrected me. Jire uh dropped in for a moment boba milk dropped in and said hi antonio was in queen soul fox was in zach gray was in heater beast so many people mr crumbs was in at the start so many people dropped in fucking awesome but yeah thank you everybody who dropped in uh, part of me does want to stream longer <laughs> Honestly, part of me really does, but, um, I got other stuff I wanted to do. Other stuff I wanted to work on besides just playing Minecraft today. <laughs> nice stream, thank you. But, with nothing more to add, and without wasting any more of your guys' time, I'll see you guys again, probably tomorrow. I plan on streaming tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, my, my plan is to stream five times a week. And then upload at least two videos a week to make up for the two days that I can't stream. Um, I do have one rather big project that I'm working on. Uh, a lot of YouTubers uh, usually have their editors um, make like compilations of best of moments. I don't have an editor. I don't get paid a single cent for doing this. I, I can't afford an editor. So I have to do it myself, but I am planning on doing that. So keep your eyes open for that. I want to make it for two reasons. One, I've always wanted to have one and I've actually streamed enough to be able to make one. And two, it's something I can put as my YouTube channel's uh, trailer. Because if you go on a YouTube channel for the first time, they have a trailer that you can play. 
Uh, and if I set that one as the trailer, when people first click my video, they'll get to see some of the more interesting clips. And hopefully they'll think I'm more interesting than I actually am. And will subscribe. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I have it set to just show the most recent upload. So. That's a lot of work. Good luck. Yeah, I have to cut down hours and hours of footage. But it's worth it. But yeah. I know it's out of the way. It's all I had. So. Thank you for stopping by and see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, if not the next day. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power, crush the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do, just break the rules and you see the truth. This is the thing of the cheek on the cool baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Power to the beat. Power for the dream. Still missing peace. Scattering so incomplete. We be that most incredible soldier from underground. See how easy they all fall down. Digging through the court to see the light. Let's get out of here, baby. That's the way to survive. Y'all top off the head. I'm on the set. Do the impossible. Don't you want to bet? Cause a lot of things change. We be waiting in vain. If we want to get by, no pain, no gain. Wow, Rick is gonna test me again. Sorry, my rhyme's gonna stunt the brain, yo. I'm still starving for the straight up skill. We're gonna make it happen with a crazy rap skill. You're ready to rumble. Now be the time, uh huh. If you ain't know, now you know. <laughs> You're right, fellas. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do, just. Break the rules that you see the truth. <laughs> this is the thing for the cheek on the cool, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Second verse dedicates to the real peeps. What we gotta say is so real thing, cause revolution ain't never gonna televise. Kicking a map, whoa, microphone phenotype. Open your third eye, see into the overground. I'm about to teach you where to scream from underground. Whole city's cover with a cyber flavor, cheese in your area. But now we're the toughest in the Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Clash the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do, just break the rules that you see the truth. <laughs> this is the thing for the cheek on the cool, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Bro, bro, fight the power, hush the 